Hey singers, I'm Sarah Lieb and this is SingingTV.com. Together you and I, we are making singing simple. Voice lessons for the people. Might be a new additional tagline. If you like it, tweet me at, uh, at SingingTV and let me know. So the topic of today's discussion is something I get a lot of questions about and that is, I get these questions about how do I uh, widen my range. How do I sing higher? How do I sing lower? So the first thing that I want to talk about is just that basically I want you, if you're a beginning and intermediate singer, to be much less concerned with widening your range. Um, I think a lot of people hear these things where somebody says, I have a five octave range or a six octave range and think, oh, that's normal. That's what we should do. So let's, let's get the record a little bit straighter. Uh, what is not normal for like as an average, but what would be considered a good healthy uh, voice um, and range would be in general about two and a half octaves. That's normally where we um, sing and where we use most of um, what it is that we do when we sing. So um, to say that I need to have a five octave Five octave range is, of course, a little bit um, sort of overkill and overdoing it. Uh, that doesn't mean that it doesn't exist, although the truth is that very, very few people in the world um, if uh, have r ranges that are um, that wide, low to high. So I'm not saying it's not possible. Certainly there are people, think Mariah Carey in the 90s, Ema Sumac, um, who can sing very, very low and very, very high. but. They're using registers that are relatively auxiliary. Most of us, if we even have the ability to sing and whistle register, some do, some don't, um, most of us aren't gonna use that most of the time. So if you're a beginning singer, even an intermediate singer, I'd love for you to stop thinking, I need to widen my range, I gotta be able to sing higher, lower, ah, and much more about what should my range be, and just on the ends, perhaps, if you're not uh, getting as high as you want to be, then you can work very, very slowly, half step, by half step, by half step, uh, on widening your range. So, what I mean by uh, what's both typical uh, or normal in terms of what you should expect your range to be, um, for guys who sing very low, we would consider them basses. They would have uh, about a range from this low E, sometimes lower if you're a true bass, uh, sometimes down to C, but basically, um, an E up to about uh, an E4 uh, above middle C. So you're noticing that's only two octaves there. So there may be some below, there may be some above, um, but generally you'll, you'll, in the examples I'm about to give, you'll hear about two, two and a half octave ranges. In tr singers who are particularly trained, two and a half to three octaves um, is, can be typical, but if you're, uh, range is about somewhere around two and a half octaves. You should not feel that that's inadequate. That is normal, and it's not just normal, it's healthy, it's wonderful, and it's what typically most people sing with. So, uh, that would be uh, kind of traditional pitch parameters for basses. Uh, for baritones, generally baritones can sing from about this low uh, G to uh, up to about G4, let's say, uh, and tenors, uh, of course, a little bit higher from around uh, B flat, B, C here, up to about um, a C5. Uh, for the ladies, if you're an alto, the, the um, lowest category, we would say in classical music, uh, for singers, you'd probably be able to sing about this E, F sharp, um, below middle C, that would be an, uh, an E or F sharp three, to probably your G or A um, up here, that's a G uh, five or an A six, if you're thinking about um, it in those terms. A mezzo from about an F up to probably a B, and a soprano from anywhere from this uh, G below middle C 
uh, or a little bit above up to probably high C, sometimes even higher if you're a, a true soprano. Most people, however, will fall into, for women, mezzo-soprano category, and for men, uh, baritone, somewhere in, in that range. So for you to think, well, I want to be a tenor, you know, it's really important to know and pay attention to the way nature made us. And if you are trying to push beyond sort of the boundaries of what your body can do, that's where things can get problematic, things can be unhealthy. So that's not to say that you can never push just a little bit beyond to try and widen the range or get a little better, but we do that very, very, very carefully. And we pay attention, of course, to the first rule of singing. What's the first rule of singing, you might ask? It is that it should never hurt or feel uncomfortable. If it hurts or feels uncomfortable, you should stop. You're probably doing something wrong. Go to your teacher. Hopefully you have one. Or uh, you can tweet me up at, at singing TV and ask a question. What am I doing wrong? Uh, it's really important that when singing, unlike, say, other perhaps athletic um, endeavors where sometimes, you know, if you're working a muscle or something, it'll be a little sore. With singing, uh, that's not true. With singing, we never want it to hurt. We never want it to feel strained. So that's a really important thing. And of course, again, what we're talking about, you know, how big should my range be? Uh, about two and a half octaves, sometimes a little less, sometimes a little more. Uh, some men can have more like three octaves because they can sing a little lower and a little higher. Um, but that's normal and it's not just normal. I, I, I feel like normal isn't really a good enough word for, for what I mean here, but it's, uh, it's where you should be at. So uh, if you're wanting to expand your range, go little by little by little, always thinking, is this comfortable? Does this feel okay? Is it healthy? If it doesn't, stop uh, and consult a professional. And yeah, I hope that answers the questions. I, just to remind you, I've instituted the at singing TV, um, asking questions on Twitter. So please um, friend me up there and say hello and ask any of your questions. Once again, I'm Sarah Lee. This is singingtv.com. Together you and I, we're making singing simple.